Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our uh, last lesson, which is the fifth lesson, which will cover LO five, learning outcome five, strategic management, OTHM level seven. My name is Anjum Satar. My email address is anjum at uk. If you have any question, feel free to drop me email. So before starting today lesson, let's will a bit you know recap what we learned up to now. So at least you know we know where we up to. If you have any points, so we can discuss. Okay, let's full we'll start. So unit two, strategic management, which we discuss uh, earlier. We up to learning outcome four. We finish. Uh, LO1 was uh, be able to critically review strategic plan. We discuss about what is meant by strategic plan, is the long term plan, uh, why we need to, where we discuss about missions, values, uh, and uh, we discuss about vision of the organization, and we discuss how we can critically analyze the effect of existing plan. And then the second learning outcome, we discuss about be able to propose strategic option. Uh, I discuss with you as we use, we discuss different tools, you know, SWOT analysis, past political economics. We discuss about four to five forces. We discuss difference between competencies and capabilities, how we can, and in a strategic position point of view, we discuss how we can evaluate as well. So then third learning outcome, we discuss about be able to critical uh, create a strategy and an implementation plan where we discuss how we can create a plan, what is meant by plan, strategic plan, what type of the plan can be in our organization. We discuss various type of strategies and uh, we discuss about various models as well. So please, you know, just a bit and we cover all inductive contents. Those were given in the assignment in the last lesson uh, lesson four be able to implement the strategic organization chain where we discuss about force field model we discuss various other model of chain and why people are hate and in terms of the leadership what type of the skills leader required are the agent you know those implement the chain in our organization so we discuss about stakeholders as well we need to be balanced when we'll chain their expectation and what skills as a leader we required, you know, like we we'll discuss about interpersonal skills as well. So that's all we discussed in the previous lesson. Today lessons we have uh, for assessment criteria, which we'll discuss today lesson. 5.1 analyze the time schedule for implementation of strategic plan. Now we are discussing more implementation side. But it's a quite, you know, the link with the previous lessons as well. Maybe you will see or you will find as well a bit, you know, repetition of the thing. But it's we looking no implementation point of view. So design the key success indicators, which will go through what those are the key success indicators for the organization plan, how we can uh, risk potential risk during the implementation. So that will cover in different. Uh, assessment criteria as well. Of course, you know, we need to look around in terms of the effectively implementation or monitoring risk we need to be monitored as well. Review effectiveness of strategic plan, how we can review the strategic plan is effective or not. And that's all we'll be focused on our two-day lessons. So let's we'll move back to our lesson and we'll start our lesson. Anybody, any questions? Okay. First, today, we'll, what we're we supposed to do? Learning outcome five, be able to review the implementation. How we can review the implementation? Any thought? Anybody want to say something about review implementation? When you implement, what, what thing you need to review? We review the plan against the action against the the result and see if if they met what we what we the, our intentions or our plans. Brilliant. So we review the corporate plan as an organization and the mission and the values. That's our strategic plan which we are going to implement. 
so not a contradict we are saying like uh, we are socially responsible organization we always caring about environment we are leading in uh, in ethical organization but now we are looking and making a contract strategic plan to cut our cost so we want to cut our cost to be outsourced in other part of the world our business operation there and they are involved in the child labor so it mean the implementation stage when we need to review it what our organization missions values our corporate objective or our strategic plan need to be not contradict yes we supposed to be in the same lines as our organizations overall plan or any strategic plan so what is meant by strategic plan is mean the long term plan is mean here we not looking corporate plan here we looking the strategic plan which is a long term plan so it can be hr planning strategic plan for hr it can be strategic plan for um, product launch yes it can be any other sort of strategic plan strategic mean long term plan in a long term what really we want hr marketing production plan so all these can be part of so when we looking there need to be a bit flow when we will implement so we need to look around our missions we need to look around our corporate objective if we are looking strategic marketing plan marketing audit we need to do audit how we can do we can go through the swot analysis we can go through the market environment both internal and external marketing exemptions we need to marketing objective and strategies what will use to be achieve our strategic plan forecast expected result what expected result we can and create alternative plan if my plan are not implement the way we want to be so what will do how will change it various alternative option maybe we'll go for joint venture we'll do uh, some you know the strategic partnership with if we are doing international business specific marketing budget what budget will be and detailed action plan that's implement allocating so that's all we need to require and we have to follow at the implementation stage these steps as well so 5.1 in a live the time schedule for implementation time is very very important think about the before the brexit and after the brexit is a totally different world and the people thinking of course will be totally different the value of the currency will be different so we need to look around so there are the various models we can use it so performance pyramid which is developed by inch and cross they included the hierarchy of financial and non financial performance measures so when we are implementing supposed to be so we need to look around both financial and non financial so uh, assist in the achievement of the corporate vision of course as a organization through the number of levels so we can look around the strategy day today that scheduled day to day operation that will leads to the strategic because we can achieve what we supposed to be achieve in the long run so corporate vision market and financial we discuss about sbus what is meant by sbus strategic business units brilliant so strategic business units i quoted example of like a ford ford have a different model ford five star ford mondeo so each model is one sbus one strategic business unit so we can look around and the customer satisfaction we need to be make a schedule how often we will measure the customer satisfaction flexibility productivity so business operating system we need to review and the departmental level or the operational level we need to look around delay quality what sort of quality quality of the product and the quality of service both we need to look around delivery yes delivery time we need to look around as well how often we deliver cycle time yes internal efficiency waste 
So all this we need to look around and uh, this pyramid we can use in implementation and the time schedule uh, or we can say timetable to make it. Any question? Okay, one of lesson we discuss about uh, balance scorecard. What is meant by balance scorecard? Anybody remember? Yes, balance scorecard, we, we discuss about this is being developed by and we discuss, you know, in the balance scorecard, we need to balance in terms of the customer perspective, internal perspective, innovation and learning and the financial perspective. Yes, so when you're making, you need in a time schedule, you need to look around the uh, customer perspective with the time, you know, we'll carry on focus on the lower cost because the customer really want lower cost, high quality, responsive service, service and how we can measure performance, benchmark cost versus the competitor cost. On time delivery, yes, we need to be look around on time delivery. They are delivering in how much time because we want to be implement and we want to be achieve our organization corporate objective. Internal perspective, operational excellencies. We need to be look around more coordination between departments. Production cycle time, we need to rectification time. We need to look around how we reduce it. Innovation and learning, employee satisfaction, innovation. So we need to look around staff turnover. How many staff join us? How many staff leave? You know, what is the percentage? Why they are? So all this we need to look around. And we need to make sure this will carry on improving, improving next six months, next 10 months, because we can achieve strategic plan only if we'll focus on all these perspectives. Financial perspective, profitability. Yes, in the long run, if we're not making profit, we can't sustain in our organization. Return on capital implied, how much capital we invested, what return we are getting. Survival, growth, and development, cash flow. So our sales increasing, but cash not increasing, so it's very difficult will be as an organization. Quarterly sales growth. All this we need to look around in our organization. At the, okay, then when we'll plan for the implementation, so we need to look around the risk. Risk always, is it risk is a bad thing? What about risk is always a negative thing? It's not, it's not always negative. Yes, so risk is not a negative. Risk can be positive, yes? Risk is the expectation. Risk is what is the probability of happening, yes? Yes. So risk can be, normally in business we say higher the beta, higher the risk factor, higher the return. So key term of risk when we're looking and we need to plan how we can minimize them. Uh, risk, of course, you know, we need to, is a probability of occurrence, risk, economics risk, personal risk, property risk, liability risk, pure risk, controllable risk, and insurance will help us to be reduced. Identify risk, type of risk. We need to identify them and we need to try to eliminate them. Any question? Mm -hmm. Can we avoid risk? Yes, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't go out, you, sorry? We can reduce the risk, but we can avoid it. Yes, if you're not doing something, yes, there is no risk. If you don't want to do no, business. But there's still risk. If you don't do anything, there's still risk. Yes, you exactly. your house. You yes, you are absolutely right. Yes. Yeah. Even you're staying in a house, you're not going out, you think, you know, is outside is a risk. But what about the inside in your house still is a risk, yes? Of course. Transfer the risk. Can we transfer the risk? Yes, we can transfer the risk, getting insurance, yes? To of course. Insure the risk, yes, we can. Assume the risk, we can assume, you know, what sort of the risk will be. Okay, possible ways to deal with the risk. Avoid. 
choose not to complete the risky activity transfer find another business to complete the activity ensure purchase insurance to pay any losses assume complete the activity with the full responsibility that's the way we can element uh, possible ways to deal with the risk so recognize important insurance concept of course we can look around various types of insurance policies insurance policies premium claim all we need to be focused purchase insurance basis and the company then we can look around that's all you know help to minimize the risk so like in a business to achieve our strategic plan health insurance disability insurance life insurance like you know when we plan something we always looking because some we have a legal responsibility like you know indemnity insurance yes implies indemnity insurance implies health insurance yes because in a business mm -hmm. is going to happening if we don't do it so we're not going to be so uninsurable risk some business risk are uninsurable list the strategies of the company to use the reduce is it everything we can get the insurance no like in some countries maybe there are the lot of risk but we can reduce it through making partnership with others yes or uh, less you know not going uh, for and direct investment you can go for for and joint venture maybe so key term property rights fix can be a risk as well identifying the risk type of uninsurable economic condition really we can't insure it consumer demand we can't demand can we go up and down competitor action technological changes local factors business operation any question okay managing risk inform everyone in the business types of the risk that are particularly important their part of the operation like think about the first customer advisor is the first impression is the last impression and last impression is the first impression yes so we need to think about how we can implement the bad reputation risk yes so inspect the facility and the equipment be active in the local community and build relationship with the government official as well managing risk because we want to manage the risk we want to don't want to create a conflict if the conflict risk will be higher risk in international business strategies for reducing this international property rights why do companies uh, us companies have difficult enforcing intellectual property right in international market sometime yes like in term of china especially and uh, what's wrong so, sorry uh, maybe i can't display this video i don't have access but you can copy the link maybe you can try in your end if it's work huh? okay mm. next any question so first 5.1 is you need to look around the implementation and the time factor yes when you implement what we need to be you need to identify the risk all levels and then you need to make the strategies to minimize them and while time with timely if you deal it of course you know then design the key success indicator in order to monitor implementation strategic plan so we looking here key success indicator what are the key success indicator implementation of strategies so first thing first of course if you not a, not a make a plan right you can't implement it properly yes so planning is very very important first place then in the implementation stage you need to understand the what is the ground reality as well so some other techniques we can use like organizing the organization processes to best help implement the strategy different types of control processes direct direct supervision can we output 
uh, output performance what performance target yes what really we will be what target we can key performance indicator or the key performance target which will go through critical success factor as well planning processes yes sir, that's the directly we need to deal it indirect culture cultural processes what is meant by culture For the way the is run, it's the culture, isn't it? Yes, so culture is mean the norms, value. Yes, norms and values. The way we do the business, yes? Yes. So, something we implement easily here, it's not mean the same thing we can implement in different part of the world. So, a lot of discussion going around, like, no doubt. Democracy, everyone like it because more independent you can say the thing. But in some cultures, maybe it's very difficult to implement it initially. But it's a gradually process, yes? So internal market, what is meant by internal markets? It can be within a country, yes? Or internal markets. Our uh, internal marketing within our organization. Do we need to do internal marketing? Yes. First of all, yes. if you don't satisfy your own employees, how they will satisfy to their uh, customer? So that's why internal, because marketing means satisfying the needs and the wants of individuals. So needs and the wants of individual mean if we do internal marketing, we can satisfy the internal, then we can do external, otherwise we can't. Okay, next we're looking now. Organization, business, relationship, best implement the strategy. Of course, relationship is very, very important. Relationship marketing we need to be in our organization to implement our strategies effectively need to share the knowledge both vertically and vertically within the organization outside it's to structure and the process is only work if implement by effective relationship internal relationship and external relationship otherwise we can't you know implement the strategies effectively in our organization any question no Okay, then we're looking organizing business internal relationship, the best implement the strategies. Evaluation how much a decision making is delegated down to the organization or our team. Because we need to look around if we everything is a centralized, every decision is made by the head office. Can we implement the strategies effectively? No. We need, we need the staff space. In making decisions. Yes, so think Are about they... we want to, we need some paper, yes, printing paper, and that's supposed to be get the permission from the head office. And how much time we need to require the authorization, and then you buy the paper or they will send us. So we need to put the control, but we need to delegate it. If we don't do it, if we don't send, decentralize it, everything is centralized, then it's very difficult to be achieved. Strategic planning, strategic control, financial control, all we need to be decentralized. That, that's why nowadays, you know, the big bosses, undercover boss is very important. Like you go and look around the reality, what is the ground reality to be achieved, and then you delegate the things, you know, accordingly. Okay. Relationship need to be knowledge, both horizontal, like we discussed. Okay, relationship to best implement the strategy, outsourcing and strategic alliance. Decide to buy in service product pre previously produced in house. What about the virtual organization? Do we, what is the virtual organization? Two or more organizations share resources, activities to pursue a strategy, strategic alliance. Uh, think about, anybody knows about union lever? 
Unilever, yes? Yes. Before, before it used to be called Lever Brothers. Yes. Brothers. And uh, one company, Holland company was Uni. And the UK company was Lever Brothers. Uni used to make the soaps and some chemicals, equipment. And the Lever Brothers used to be different uh, consumer product within the UK. Because their product line was same, yes? So they yes. merged together, so they became a Unilever. So they have a more now. So two or more organizations share the resources and activity to pursue the strategy, pursue their strategic plan, yes? To become a big organization to compete with other are PJ. Do we know PJ? Procter and Gamble, yes? Yeah. PGT, so like a tea bag as well, they have so various others. So that's is Procter and Gamble. So they, these European companies, they merge together because they have two or more organizations, share resources and activity to pursue the strategies to compete with the competitor, which is coming from. So that's only the key purpose was. Any question? Okay, some commas in the organizing the business for the strategic success. So some can be, we need to look around how we can, because sometimes it's a problem. Holistic solution versus best practices. Vertical accountability versus horizontal integration. Accountability, tight oblique loose. Centralized versus decentralized wing and uh, is organizing can be hierarchies versus network so these are the different techniques we can say everything centralized decentralized tight control not control so you need to look around when you implement what's work for you in different cultures so then resource strategies so if you want to be implement the strategic plan and you want to achieve its uh, objective resourcing strategies in the same way the people and the animals need to be input of air food or so we organization also need the input in in order to function normally physical functional human intellectual and intangible different types of resources we required to achieve our organization objective so we need physical resources, we need financial resources, we need human resources, intangible goodwill of the company, yes, or the reputation or the brand image. We need to develop, so factor affecting and innovation strategies. So we need to, because innovation is quite crucial as well. So we need to be look around in our organization, strategic choices, innovation and entrepreneurial state. We need to be a balance, anticipating innovation, whether it be a first mover or follower. What do you think? First mover or the follower? Which one is the better? Mm. Uh, sorry, yes, you want to say something? Well, it, it depends on the enterprise, isn't it? Yes. It depends, you know, the nature of the product you deal or the industry you are in. Yes, sometimes it's a very risky. You move first and you you fail, yeah? Of course. And you can't sustain. Follower, maybe somebody, you will see, you know, how the IT work and the IT system they use and what risk involved. So let's, you know, stay a bit behind because we not, don't want to be a leader. We can be a follower because even few percent shares is best for us instead of taking risk and putting everyone as an organization. And uh, we'll, we can't really sustain in the long run then deciding between the different opportunities for innovation. So always you need to be innovation. We can. It's a little innovation. It's not mean you make big structurally change and the, everything is automated. Everything is robotics. So innovation is not meant by the big innovation. It can be innovation. Something we can. 
simple you know like we used to do monday morning meeting between team members we can change the meetings to online meeting through virtual meetings yes instead of you know we'll do face to face meeting because of course technology is helping us so that ultimately help to be more uh, saving time saving resources strategy in action organizing and resourcing structure we need to look around processes relationship and uh, that's all we need to be focus how we can any question no then uh, jobber david jobber is quite popular author he uh, wrote many books he gave one so if you want to be implement the strategies effectively you need to look around the stage of position this stage represent those with the much of the lose from the implementation of the marketing strategies a position is often direct and forcible you know sometimes the people opposition so in what they will lose that's why they oppo opposition they have so you need to look around some people is uh, again the change or uh, the implement this may be takes the less direct or more possessive approach than the opposition people at the stage are less likely to be openly so about sometime you know that we need to be they, they carry on think about the student union we say something we not really going to ultimately we need to be uh, we supposed to be involved them yes or we can change ourselves you know because sometimes we we'll stick with the strategic plan and the other party the stakeholder is very powerful think about the gender pay gap and we can argue on it yes think about yeah. lgb whatever you know their their rights now yes so we need to look around we need to accept it because of course otherwise is need to be compliance people will like act according with the plan but not be enthusiastic about it so how will make sure yes will meet the compliance procedure we need to be put the strategies in place acceptance at this stage high level of support is achieved people will see the value because acceptance when the people accept it when they accept it people will see the value in the plan and like you know come on this new chain we save money but we will give you more money you know the saving percentage we will share you like the local council if you save money you will get more budget in the next year so what they will do they will work and they try to be implement but if you say now because you save the money and the next year you don't need more money will cut your budget which is normally happen so lot of discussion going around in this area as well commitment at this stage people accept the worth of the plan and also pledge themselves to making it successful both heart and the mind are one so we can we need to take on board and we need to be look around when they are willing to do something and they know they they will be rewarded accordingly when they will success like that's why organization giving them shares giving them shares as a so they have a sense of feeling that they are owner of the company not the employees of the company for the company so we need to look around is it make sense yes so that's we need to next okay uh of course at the implementation stage as well we need to look around managing marketing risk if we are dealing with the marketing plan political behavior some people in the organization may feel they will be lose out the result of the marketing planning process so we need to be look around and the term of the responsibility or the power it may result in the conflict of the individual question the perception of planning short term focus so we need to change the people's perception about it knowledge is a power so we need to teach the people and they have a knowledge they should communicate them and we supposed to share culturally clashes we don't need to be we need to think about we need to involve it not instead of the clash between the 
workers and the various other stakeholders disagreement the marketing plan process required a lot of discussion between managers and strategic nature of discussion can be result disagreement sometime disagreement we can give the ranking some points and we will say how we can be very close instead of lot of disagreement of course disagreement can be but up to some extent we need to be minimizing skills gap there may be general lack of marketing planning skills within our organization and which could affect the outcome of the various activities undertaken so thus we need to be make sure you know we'll try to be reduce the skills gap and which will carry on doing by regular training implementation sending them in a course and uh, telling them the uh, commercial reality is what is happening okay anybody any question no okay next now 5.3 which is we looking the potential is during the implementation that's also the risk which we discuss in 5.1 we can discuss but further if we want to categorize them financial and non financial so we can look around the financial criteria to measure it liquidity cash generations value added earning per share shareholder value profit profitability cost leadership non financial criteria we can look around sale volume market share growth rate competitive position Uh, consumer franchise reliance on the new product customer satisfaction sustainability competitive advantage so we can look around both financial and non financial criteria and the risk which we all also discuss in 5.1 as well that can be linked again in 5.3 any question no okay we discuss uh, we all ready know the what is meant by plan is a written document governing all the firms marketing activity then why marketing for the small businesses management at the owner control the monitoring and implementation in the small to communicate with the employees or external individual which we need to detail budget we need to assign the time table and the task help member to prepare the problem opportunities and threat and keep the confidential if you want so when to create a marketing plan some marketing experts so just business should have a marketing plan for each marketing strategy is dwell development of the new product can be creation of the yearly campaign strategic partnership the key uh, marketing strategies how we can short period of time medium and the long term because we discussing strategic plan so we of course you know that leads to the strategic plan because the less than a year this normally strategic plan meant by more than a year's time but the short term plan help to be achieved the strategic planning yes okay when we set the any plan executive summary situation analysis we carry on doing regular basis opportunities and threats what was the brexit we make five year ago plan strategic plan but now opportunities and threats involved now maybe we need to reshuffle and readdress you know but maybe we can't stick with the strategic plan now we need to change because the environment is changed environment we discuss about pastel pest analysis yes political economic social factor company resource allocations budgeting human capital and marketing objective may be changed so we need to be carry on reviewing marketing strategies we need to review financial projections and budget control and evaluation implementation of plan uh, david jobber identify the four points in the key success of the implementation gaining the support of the key decision makers in the company gaining the required resources gaining the commitment of individuals and gaining the cooperation of other department need to be implemented because we need to be work as a team if we can't if we we'll say no no there is a clash between the finance marketing human resource of marketing and the production all we are a single unit single identity 
so we need to be focused so david jobber highlighted it if we want to be so only we can either marketing plan or any other strategic plan we only can achieve any question no it is no okay brilliant the last really key point we will review the effectiveness of strategic plan how we can review it we can do strategic analysis external analysis to identify opportunities internal analysis stakeholder analysis gap analysis what expectation where the gap there is a theory called gap analysis theory what you was expecting what the gap we are where we not how we can close the gap and why why we not you know why the gap is there is it like you know maybe the economic situation that was the gap maybe we need to diversify in term of strategic choices strategies is required to close gaps competitive strategies each business unit direction for the growth which market product should be invested when the expansion should be achieved organic growth acquisition in the some joint arrangement strategic implementations we can look around the formation of the detailed plan target setting kpi and monitoring and control so like here dhl uh is uh, of course courier company a parcel delivery service such as dhl have the following key uh, csf what is the csf anybody know the abbreviation csf critical success factor is yes, that's a key to be success and kpi is a key performance key. indicator okay. so speed correction from the customer after their request for a parcel be delivered that's the key success factor for the organization performance collection from customers within the 3 hours of receiving the order in any part of the country for the order received before 2 pm on the on a working day so that's the key performance indicator they have to measure the performance against it rapid and reliable delivery so how rapid and reliable delivery next day delivery for destinations within the uk and delivery within 2 days destination in the europe so if you not do it yes you you need that's a critical factor that's only they can stay in organization that's the performance indicator they have to measure it they are doing it or not if they don't do it they can't sustain as a organization so we can review it okay role of corporate planning in the marketing strategic choices if we are just three criteria for evaluating the potential suitability you need to look around the strategic plan it still is a suitable does the strategy is a suitable strategic fit does it build the strength the take the advantage of opportunity and will the new product fit with the existing one adopt acceptability is the strategy is acceptable to stakeholders of the organization both term of the risk and the return feasibility can the necessary resources and competencies obtain can organization manage the process of the strategic change if we are changing something so what we can do the strategic management account and will contribute ac acceptability and feasibility aspect we can look around the key acceptability return example of npv analysis net present value analysis which we learn in the financial management return on capital implied that the return is is it up to that level acceptable acceptability risk sensitivity analysis which is a technique we can expected value what values really bringing or is it not acceptable is a more risk there feasibility resources budgeting resources requirement cash flow forecast identify the funding needs so always we need to the role of the uh, corporate planning checking toward the objective set it's not enough merely to take make a plan and implement them the result of the plan be compared against the stated objective and assess the firm performance action can be taken 
uh, remedies any shortfall in performance so we can review of course the reporting to measure the effectiveness we can look around the worth of the goodwill of the companies in our organization that's all you know the way we can measure the effectiveness of the plan is it effective or not we can in term of return on capital implied in term of the risk in term of the resources we deployed and what return we gain through this or if not we need to be take the corrective action and we'll carry on uh, diversify the resources into different because ultimately we supposed to be achieved or we can uh, new product in the new markets maybe we can think about as well any question hello any question anyone anybody any question no okay so today we learn about 5.1 analyze the time schedule for implementing strategic plans we discuss about design the key success indicators we discuss about the potential risk different types of risk you can review the effectiveness strategic plan in term of return on capital implied in term of financial and non financial perspective as well you can if not we could we can change the plan, you know keeping in view of environmental changes opportunities and threats so that's all you know we discussed during our lesson so please if you have any question ask me and uh, during no of course we have assignment as well because of course you already finished like yourself yes so if we we'll, if we'll go back to so we have a assignment brief there yes individual prepare and deliver a presentation discuss the strategic plan you can prepare the powerpoint slide or executive summary of mission powerpoint slides executive summary lecture psalms uh, recording so not read just you know even you can write it is fine yeah that will meet the criteria about the strategic plan and if you want to be you can go on um, be planned dot co dot uk the website that will help you there are the number of plan or you can discuss and add you know some example then uh, task two of course portfolio force field model which we discussed that's cover our lesson um, if i'm right in you know, lesson three and four so which we discuss reflective essay the useful ness of the chain model such as we discuss about 7s mckenzie 7s approach quarter organization that's also in lesson 3 and 4 as well so please just write on 600 words there so then we'll meet our criteria so if you have any question ask me and further we'll go through in with the next unit we'll start as well so if any question carry on dropping me email and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so let's uh, okay thanks for attending this lesson so today we cover our lo5 my name anjum if you have any question just drop me email i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a nice time hope so i will see you with the new unit new modules next week and please carry on working towards the assignment and uh, if any question drop me email i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you bye bye